Now, um, I remember the first time I um, swallowed a fly. I don't know why I swallowed a fly. Well, I was blowing out the candles on my birthday soup. Birthday soup, it should have been a cake. It wasn't, it wasn't a cake. And we were too poor. Mum just made do with floating some tea lights on a can of chicken and mushroom. Um, basically, I was, I was taking deep breath to blow out the candles and I sucked in a blue bottle. I sucked down a blue bottle. I sucked off a blue bottle. I was young and I needed the money. Uh, but to be honest, I needed the uh, experience. I needed the practice more than anything. And uh, mother said to me, "Will you swallow the bird? Uh, swallow the fly? How absurd! You better swallow a bird." Um, and I said, "Why?" And she said, "Will you fl- swallow the fly?" I said, "I don't know why." She said, "Well, you were taking in a deep breath to blow out the candles." So I, sw- I tried to swallow a bird. She gave me a canary, small. We had a canary, and it, it well, it didn't fit. I mean, it did, but it was flapping and cheeping. It wouldn't go down. I couldn't swallow it. I had to take down the vet to sedate it. I had to, but well, you try taking a canary down the vet when it's healthy, getting them to sedate it. I had to make up an excuse. I said, "This canary is." Hysterical. Yeah, well, it's got panic attacks. It thinks it's got the starling, and uh, it thinks it's starling. It's but he's put on some jack boots, and it's um. Anyway, he said, "Look," um, and I said, "Well, just give it a shot." And he gave it two shots. He gave it a gin and tonic. I said, "Is that a double?" And he said, "Yes." I said, "Well, you know, are you trying to get it drunk?" Or I, I said, "Sedate it, seduce it." Um. He, anyway, even half pissed. It was very difficult to swallow. Uh, others got stuck in my gusset, gullet. And in my gusset. Well, I had a spare canary uh, tucked into my trousers. Uh, I didn't need it in the end, so I let it go. But well, I tried to let it go. I undid my flies. I said, "Fly, little fella," and it wouldn't go. It just, it just sat there like it was nailed to the spot. And uh, well, well, it wasn't. It was nailed to the spot. It, it wasn't nailed to the spot. I would just tied it down with sellotape. But well, you can't nail it to canary because they don't have fingers. Um, and uh, well, they, they, and anyway, the point is, even if they did their fingers, I don't know why you'd nail it. And uh, still, I recommend sellotape. Basically, it wouldn't leave. And the point of, I mean, they reckon, and what they reckon happened is it was so happy with life in my trousers. It got used to it, basically, and it didn't know anything better. And when, when it was confronted with freedom, it, it didn't know what to do. And he built a nest in the eggs. So we had to go down the vet again. And, well, this time the vet asked a lot of, like, what, why have you got a canary sellotape to your trousers? And I said to him, well, perhaps if you'd laid eggs in my pants, you'd want to see them. And uh, he, well, he didn't know what to say that. Um, so I, you know, I, I unzipped my flyers and I said, uh, "Take a look at that dock." And uh, and he, well, he said to me, "That's that's not a canary, and those aren't eggs." And uh, and I looked down and realised I'd made a mistake. I made a very big mistake. Not a big mistake. I mean, it was cold. But uh, well, by then it was too late. He'd already called the police. Social services were contacted, and. Um, the canary was taken into care. I was released back into the wild. Uh, years later, I, well, I, I burped up the original canary, and uh, eventually, uh, well, the fly was, was lost. But event- eventually, me, uh, I married the canary. Uh, it was a secular ceremony, obviously. It was a circular ceremony, actually. The vicar insisted on marrying us in the round. Um, I don't know why. Well, he was afraid of corners. He'd been backed into one as a child.